I'm real excited. You know, it's one step closer to you know the ultimate goal, which is the big leagues. Uh, just learn learn what I can and continue to grow as a base baseball player. So, real exciting. Yeah. Uh, just make more hard contact. Uh, it's the biggest thing for me. Uh, better my jumps in the outfield. Better reads on fly balls. You know, the little things. Doing the little things properly. It's going to be huge. So, yeah. Uh, just cleaning up my bat path, honestly, to make more contact, more hard, hard contact. It's the biggest thing for me. Um, yeah, and timing. Timing's huge. Uh, if your timing's right, you know, you can do anything. So, yeah. Uh, speed, power combo. Uh, yeah, that's mostly it, you know. I'll cheer you on, cheer my teammates on, good, good, good teammates. So, yeah, yeah. Being a guy who was committed to Purdue, uh, You've been to Indiana before. I have. Um, so kind of what's been your impression now that you've landed here in Fort Wayne? And what also yeah. made Purdue the choice for a guy from the Pacific Northwest? Yeah. Uh, my There's a coach at Seattle U um, who uh, got a job at Purdue and recruited me over there and went on a tour or went on, yeah, a visit, and it was beautiful. You know, I loved it. And I don't mind the cold, you know. I love the snow. So, <laughs> yeah, I loved it, everything about it. Does that make you a Boilermaker fan then? Or? Yeah. Yeah, I root him on. I, I mean, I was heartbroken when Purdue lost. So yeah. What uh, obviously we know that you have, you have big power. You said yeah. that. When when did you know that you could that you had more power than most of the guys out there on the field? Um, probably my junior junior year of high school, uh, putting balls. You know where people say they've never gone before. So I was like, oh, you know, might be able to make a career out of this thing. You know, so yeah. What's the furthest ball you've ever hit? Uh, I think I hit one five hundred one last year, uh, Lake Elsinore. So yeah. What was, the, what was the feeling like when you made contact with that one? It was like hitting a cloud, you know, <laughs> just, you know, the ball's gone and it's a beautiful thing, so.